today is going to be my favorite episode ever because we are having Popeyes today. Now, if you know me, you would know that fried chicken is my absolute favorite food in the entire world. More than pizza, more than Vietnamese food. It's just my, ugh. it would be my last meal if I was in prison. You know, if I was sentenced to death, I would ask for fried chicken, specifically Popeye's fried chicken. I had the choice between um, choosing KFC, which is globally more popular and recognized. And I'm not sure if every if every state in uh, America has Popeyes, um, let alone globally. So if you do, you, man, you know what it tastes like. You know how good it is. So right now, I'm just squeezing out my hot sauce. You know how I'm obsessed with my condiments, and I. I love their hot sauce. But I love KFC's hot sauce as well. You know, KFC, I I love their hot wings, but their chicken, I don't know. Sometimes, I don't know. Sometimes it tastes like shit to me. But anyways, yeah, I'm allowed to have this today because I was good. I worked out uh, three days in a row, and I um, I made sure to eat some good stuff today. So, so I'm definitely allowed to have this fat. So I want you guys to enjoy it with me. So right here, what we have are biscuits. These are amazing. We'll make some little biscuit sandwiches on a little bit. I'll stack those guys up. Let's see. And here comes the chicken. So I ordered spicy, my absolute favorite. Let's see here. Raise that up. Oh my god, I can't fucking wait. So good. Okay, where should I start? Oh, and I have some sides too, but I'll show you that in a little bit. I really want to dig into this chicken now. Um, so I like to cut my biscuit up. So I got some honey packets as well. I have to squeeze my honey on that. And you just add slices, uh, pieces of chicken onto this and just make yourself a little biscuit sandwich. It's amazing. I also have some jalapenos as well. All right. How should? Where should I start? Drumstick, thigh, leg. All right. I'm gonna go for this guy. Super crispy. So the thing about Popeyes is that. Their skin, super greasy, super crispy. I mean, absolutely flavorful. And that's why I chose this over KFC. And I'll choose this over KFC any day. Mm. Gotta have the skin first. makes me really violent. It's so good. Piece 
piece of chicken. I'll make start making my little sandwich. chicken sandwich, put that biscuit on top. It's so good. It's so good. Mm. Wow. So with the sides, I got this jambalaya, you see it, that's rice, a little bit of chicken. I haven't tried it before, but I wanted to give it a go today, see how it tastes. Mac and cheese. <laughs> Sometimes I'm always so afraid of that. We're dropping something. Obviously, I can edit it out, but I'm too lazy to do that. So I just 
cross my fingers and hope nothing goes wrong. Like food fucking dropping over everywhere. Mm. That's good. And lastly, can't go wrong with some mashed potatoes and gravy. But nothing beat that chicken biscuit sandwich I just made earlier. Really. Can't wait to make another one. Alright, next piece. So in, a, so in a previous episode, I told you that I have a trainer. So I work out with him three or four times a week. And I actually talk to him about what I'm eating on the show so, so that he knows so that he knows what to do. For me on the day I'm eating the foods like these. Lift, like if I'm consuming high calorie foods, like fried chicken, He'll make me do something like leg day, which is my least favorite. And it burns a lot of calories. But the way I actually stay skinny is I mean, it's not really a secret. Or some cool diet plan. It's actually pretty simple. I mean, at the end of the day, behind the scenes, you know, you're obviously not seeing me in my everyday life, but I do eat very healthy. I mean, I eat the same thing every, every time I have lunch. It's the same thing. Chicken breast, brown rice, a big salad with red bell peppers, maybe some eggs, <clears throat> excuse me, but it's the same thing every day. Now, that's, I mean, I lost weight that way, but to, for me, my goal was to get a lower body fat percentage. And what I had to do was I actually had to do something called intermittent fasting. So yes, it is what it says. It's fasting. It's pretty easy. I mean, every day I wake up, I don't eat until maybe four to six hours in the day. So I'm just having maybe black iced coffee. No sugar, no nothing. Oops. Or water. I mean, it's, it was pretty tough at first because I used to get so hungry in my stomach. It would pretty much make all these noises in the morning. It was really embarrassing when I was in class because people could actually hear it. It was pretty bad, but you just get used to it after some time. But I think it's probably one of the best ways um, or that I've noticed um, that has helped me with losing body fat percentage. I've been doing it since last year in October. Um, I've lost maybe, I don't even know, I, I lost track. It, it's crazy, but you should try it. It's not, it's not gonna hurt you. I mean, maybe I eat in a smaller window too. I'll stop maybe at 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. at night. But as long as I have 
really all my proteins, my carbs, you know, um, what else there, whatever else that there is to, to be concerned about as far as food. But I do meet those. My map world, I was just trying to say. But they are map. And I find that where I found that one month into this such a fucking mess look everywhere um I found that a few months into this I didn't have very much of an appetite like I didn't really want to eat so during lunch I would eat maybe half of the amount half of the food that I would pack at first I was concerned I was like man I love food why am I not eating this but I guess after some time your stomach just gets used to it and it gets Oh, so good. Take a bite. I might inspect your ass, Joe. Google the closest Popeyes from your home. You're not going to regret it. But anyways, yeah. Just work out. You have to be active. And the way I see it is that I'm allowed to have this kind of food because I work so hard, you know. Every day, eating healthy. This is a reward for me. So if anything, it actually tastes even better. so freaking greasy. I don't know if you can see it, probably not, but I like it. I was watching my videos and I noticed how I love eating with my hands. There was one where I think I grabbed a pair of chopsticks to pick something up and then I ended up, I, okay, so this is what I did, chopsticks and I ended up grabbing it with my fingers instead. Don't worry, I don't eat like this in public.
Four more biscuits. No. Two more biscuits. So, I didn't tell you that I came back from Iceland not too long ago. It was actually my first overseas trip, believe it or not. And it was incredible. Some of you are probably wondering why Iceland. Well, you don't know this, but I'm obsessed with Bjork. I mean, obsessed. So, I mean, obviously she's from, you know, Iceland. And I just thought, hey, that'd be, that'd be cool. I want to see what it's like over there. Just, you know. And part of it, too, was because... People often choose places like France or, well, Americans do at least. They would choose France, Spain, you know, which is great and all, which I will see one day, but I wanted to do something different. And um, that was different to me. It was so much fun, though. Food, alcohol, food and beverages just, just in general were expensive. I mean, it was expensive. It was to the point where we had to pay for, you know, for shots instead of just buying cocktails or something because it was, it was the fastest way to get drunk and the cheapest way to get drunk. So, a beer, a bottle of beer, would be um, like 12 American dollars, 12 US dollars. That's a lot of money. And I remember the cocktail was like 20 to 21 US dollars. I was like, what the f I mean, Los Angeles has outrageous prices for alcohol, but this was, this was, I mean, I get it. It's, it's an island. Iceland is an island and they get their things imported. Whatever the case, whatever the reason, I understand why it's expensive, but damn. So much for having a good time because I'm so cheap. You know what was interesting?
interesting. There's probably one of the very few Asian people there. I mean, not that they thought that was weird or anything, but it, it was strange for me having to be the only one. Like, literally the only Asian person there. Maybe I saw a few Korean travelers, um, or tourists from Korea. But that was about it. You know, actually, most of the tourists were from, where were they from? Canada, from America. I would say, oh, actually, a lot from, um, the, the UK as well. Um, actually, they were the nicest group of people ever. I mean, super, super nice. You British people are amazing. Um, I just remember struggling to take a picture and they would come by and, you know, offer to take one for us and, you know, we'd strike up a conversation. They're just so pleasant. I love pleasant people. I love nice people. So they were so amazing. Um, what else? Yeah, if you're from the UK, I love you guys. I want to visit you guys soon. If anything, you are my next Europe destination. Yay, I'm excited. Um, yeah, anyways. No, it was just so beautiful. And I miss it every day. I think about Iceland all the time. The one thing <clears throat> that I didn't like was, and this is just kind of stupid, but I drink an iced coffee every single day of my life. Starbucks iced coffee. I was told by one of my co-workers when she came back from, where was it, from France, and she was in, um, well, for the most part she was in France and she was telling me how they don't serve ice waters, or they don't really have ice drinks, maybe they'll have blended beverages, and she was just like, I, I didn't know what to do, and I said, oh my, I, well, I, that's hard for me to comprehend because I have an ice beverage every single day. So when she went to the ice co uh, to, from, to the coffee shop, they only offered her a blended drink, which is what uh, some you know something that she didn't want. <laughs> but yeah, I just I don't know if I can handle that. <laughs> like I said, I have it every single day. I cannot go without my iced coffee or else I could turn into a fucking freak. <sighs> but anyways, uh, I think I'm done here. I think I've done overdone it. But anyways, it was so nice seeing you guys. Sorry for my late posts. I'm so glad you guys are also commenting and really being interactive with me. You got some of you guys have said some of the nicest things that I've actually ever heard in my entire life. I mean, it's sad that it takes, you know, YouTube to get that. But I mean, you guys don't, didn't have to, you know, take time out of your day to write something like that. So if you did. You know, I'm, I'm taking it very personally. I think it's amazing. I think you guys are really driving me to do this. And I appreciate all of you. So, I just want to say thank you again for watching. And I will see you next time for a special show, actually. You'll see it. Bye. Thanks.